Pastor Jill of Jimen, I'd like to take this opportunity to bring a very special fan memory of our late brother Alex Ofori. And I'm doing this on behalf of the G dancers in my own behalf. The story goes like this In 1987, I had come to Ghana to launch my first album, BMW, and Her Life in G Major. And I needed to put a group together that will support me and uh, put a dance choreography together for these shows that I was planning to do. The first person that I knew among the lot was Stephen, aka Ozzy Gay. So I contacted her and told her that I needed some dancers who, in her own opinion, could make it. And she assured me, she says, Just wait, I'll be right back. And Ozzy Gay came with. Mr. Alex Ofori and Carlos Alberto. And when I met Alex, he was a very cool and calm person. We put the group together and we started rehearsing at Jolly Hotel Reservoir. It so happens that the owner was also called Mr. Fori. And he gave us his uh, place in the nightclub. So that was where G Dances originally started. So our first major event was the TV show you see behind from GTV, um, Weekend Rendezvous at that time. And we had so much trouble in recording that because they would not allow us to record at Circle, we needed permission. And this was in 1987, the revolution was still there and there was um, Salim Fouamankwa, who was the name of the soldier who um, was in charge of Circle. So we went and uh, spoke to him and he said, oh fine, you, you, know, you guys can go do your shoot. And that's what you see in the background. But there's a very memorable thing about Alex. Everybody called me G-Man. Alex never mentioned G-Man. He used to call me Jermaine. That's how Alex pronounced my name. He was the only person that used to call me that among the G-Dancers. He used to always say Jermaine. So because of that, Carlos started calling me Jermaine, but Alex was the person that always called me by that name. Alex went on further to do great things on his own. Then sometime last year, I want to take this opportunity at this point to say thank you to my brother, Mr. 
Ajitisowa. Last year, Mr. Ajitisowa and some brothers heard he was Alex was not well, and they went to visit him. And when they did, they called me. Mr. Ajitisowa called me, and he said, we, we are going back to see Alex on Sunday. So I said, okay. After church on Sunday, I will rush home and be able to be on the call so that I will have the opportunity to speak with Alex. And lo and behold, I got home in time. Mr. Ajiti Soma called me and then I asked him, can you put um, the phone on speaker because I want to pray? And as soon as Alex heard my voice, the first thing he said was, Jermaine. And I could tell that the voice was the same, though he, he was not well, but I could hear that beautiful voice. It was the same him. And the way he even called out my name, it was so beautiful. I could not see him because it was, a, it was not a video call. It was an audio call, but I could, I could feel that beautiful smile. You know, when somebody mentions your name with a smile, you know, he says, Jermaine, how is it? And I said, fine, my brother, everything will be okay. And I thank God that I had the opportunity to pray with him. The point that I'm making here is this. The word of God says that it's appointed unto man once to die and after that the judgment. So we all have appointment with death, one way or the other. Nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody knows when yours will come, your appointed time that is. But we give glory to God that whatever our brother went through today, he's no more in a place of suffering, but he's in a better place. I believe that with all my heart. And I thank God for everything that the brothers and sisters are doing to give our brother a befitting burial. Once again, on behalf of the G dancers, all I have to say is Alex, do it. And God willing, we shall meet again in paradise. My name is your humble servant, Pastor G. Love G. Man. I bring you greetings once again from New Life Christian Law Fellowship here in the Big Apple. Stay blessed, no stress, and I'm out like that. Bye.